So first of all, to create our project, we need to set up three services. We choose creating service, and after that, we need to set up the UI editor, Node-RED, and the MongoDB. Let's start with the UI editor. When creating a service for the first time in a new workspace, you need to select the server size. The small size will be sufficient for me. Also, only when setting it up, you can change the name of your service. And we click Create Service. We are automatically redirected to the Service Setup page. While we wait, we can create other services. We go back to the previous tab and create Node Red. The server size is already selected. You can change the service name. And we click Create. Let's set up the database as well. We click on the blue bar to open the new Service Creation tab. We select the database. Here you can change a few more configurations. I want to set the same name, username, and password. And we need to wait a few minutes, and our services will be ready to work. So now, all the services are ready to work. We see the green indicator next to each of them. And let's start with Node-RED. To open the service, you just need to click next to its name. First of all, we need to connect the database in Node-RED. For this, we click on the burger menu in the top right corner. We choose Manage Palette and go to Install. We are interested in this palette in this case. We click Install and Confirm again. We can see that the nodes have been successfully added. Here on the left side in Node-RED, there are all the nodes you need. Here it appears. We search for Mongo, and we drag and drop it onto the workspace by simply clicking and dragging it onto the workspace. Drag and drop. We open the settings, and we need to add a server. We open the Mongo configuration. We copy the host and paste it into the host field. The name goes into the database field. Connect option goes into connect option. Username goes into username. And the password. We give a name to our database. We click add, done, and deploy. To save changes in Node-RED, you need to click Deploy each time. We see the indicator that we have connected to the database. So everything is fine, the database is working. Next, we need to do to prepare for work is to add environment variables to the UI settings. We need to save the link to the backend, which is the link to our Node-RED. We can click here and copy it. This is so that when the link to Node-RED itself changes, we only change it in this one place. When we add environment variables, our service restarts. Now we see the yellow indicator next to the service, and we see its status is in process. The service is currently reloading. This takes a few seconds. We can see the service status has changed. The green indicator is back. This means that all our services are ready to work. We have finished preparing for project development.